Let's do a haul or a hurl or it sounds like something you fling at someone. It sounds very offensive, but we're gonna do it. Hi guys! So if you've been following me on all the social media and everything, you may have known that I went to Texas a couple weeks ago to visit my friend and surprise her for her birthday. Bunny aka Graveyard Girl. Talked about her a lot. You should know who she is by now. Um, I recently went to go see her, like I said, and I bought just all the things. I saved my money so I could go shopping with my friends and really enjoy myself because it's really hard for me to shop for clothes by myself. I like getting opinions and just makeup with other people that like makeup. Makeup is just like the greatest thing. Also, if this eyelash starts like flinging out and looks like it's flipping you off, it's because it's on his last leg. I shouldn't have used these lashes over and over again. If you clean them, it's good. But I'm going off a tangent. We are going to go through all the things that I shopped for at Texas. It's a lot of things. We're going to start off with makeup. I was going to have this just as a makeup haul, but I thought why not have all the things in here for everybody who not just doesn't like just makeup. Um, I've never had a Sephora bag so big. It's kind of crinkly, but look how big. <gasps> I can barely fit it into the camera. There's a lot of things in here. I bought stuff for the upcoming Comic-Con event and for myself personally. First thing I got, because I've been trying to find this at the Sephora's here in California and they were sold out everywhere, is the Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighter. This is just like, look at that packaging first of all. It's like a gold, rose gold, like liquid looking with bubbles and I absolutely love their packaging just in general because it looks like steampunk-ish in my opinion. And once I saw this, I was like, do I really need it? Do I really? Oh, but look at it. It's like this gold. Whew. It's like what sands in Hawaii mixed with the sunset looks like. It's just amazing. I cannot wait to apply this onto my face. Next thing I got is an hourglass matte lipstick. I didn't want to get the full one and commit, so I got the baby one because it's cheaper, honestly. And I got not one, but two. First, I got the small size of this oil-free pore refining cloth that's a grease relief that takes away makeup. And Bunny suggested me to get this, and I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, maybe it works, but most uh, makeup wipes sting my eyes, but it works. This is the best one I've ever used, so I got the big pack, and I'm like, hooked for life it seems like. Then I got the NARS dual intensity. These dual chrome like eyeshadow things, I think it's my new obsession. Beautiful purple with hints of duochrome blue in it with like a magenta tone. It is so gorgeous and it is in the color Desdemona. Whew. I saw this on the counter when I first got there and I'm like I need it. And I went there also because they had a lip tar sale and the lip tars they're transferring over to the newest packaging so I got them for like a really big discount. It was like 30 to 50 percent off. I got this stained gloss. I wanted matte and I ended up getting gloss just because I like this color. I'm sure it'll still work. I've never used lip tars from OCC. There are lip pencils I have, but not the lip tar. And I got this ombre kit, which I tested it while I was in Texas. Doesn't work. I wouldn't, like, spend my money on this, honestly. This is the one thing I regret out of this whole haul of the makeup. I also got Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks. I've never bought a Kat Von D liquid lipstick and everyone's like, you need to get it. So I got in Requiem because the newest ones, of course, were all sold out. But this beautiful, like, lilac slash hints of baby pink. It reminds me of like a mauve baby pink if that makes sense and it's just gorgeous. I'm obsessed with these buxom single eyeshadows. This one's in room service and it's like the perfect mermaid pearl eyeshadow. It's just gorgeous. Also got another duochrome looking eyeshadow. This one's from Makeup Forever, a single one. I was gonna get like, you get two or three and I think you save more money and you get like a little package with it. But this, the reason why I got it is because it looks like those Japanese jade beetles here. I don't know if they're everywhere in the world, but here in California we have these really creepy yet beautiful beetles. They're like if a June bug and like a gorgeous like you know those scarabs from like Egypt. I love those beetles and they like attack fig trees here and that's what the color is. They're like these bright jade green bugs and they're like the only uh, bugs I'll deal with because they're I'm like you're cute. Okay, I'll let you fly on by and I got another beauty blender I've never seen this red one. I really want to try it. I'm sure it's not that much different It's the red carpet beauty blender edition It's a new one and I got another solid because I need these you can only wash these with the Cleansers they come with because if you don't I have made that mistake and they just like tear apart on you real quick And these are supposed to last around six months for you 
And if you are Parks and Recreation, you know that phrase, treat yourself. Well, I went above and beyond because I got this Luna Sleep Night Oil. My friend Sydney, who I went with to Texas, she suggested this and I wanted the baby one that she had because I'm like, oh, it's going to be cheaper because this whew, is a pretty penny. It is I don't even want to say how much it is. Just, if you want to look it up, you can. I almost bruised myself because it's so heavy, this glass bottle. And it comes in this eyedropper and it's like this dark blue color. And it's the smell of like, have you ever seen Hayao Miyazaki movie, Princess Mononoke? I bet you that forest smelled like this. And I know that sounds really weird, like dirt and moss and trees, but it smells so deliciously good. And I heard it gets a rid of like, reduces oil, minimizes pores, improves appearance of damaged skin, and helps fight wrinkles. I need to get rid of like the acne marks and stuff and pore minimizing. Let's see if it works. I smell so delicious at night when I put that on. Next thing that I got that Sydney suggested for me and I want to get just for the name of it is Super Goop. Now this is a setting mist spray with rosemary. It makes your makeup stay on and not only that but it does two things. It not only sets your makeup but it has SPF 50 in it and oh my gosh this really worked for me in the Texas heat. I did a full face of makeup then sprayed this but make sure you pull your hair back before you spray it because if this gets in your hair it's not a fun time. Hair is like super glue into your neck and to like bugs that fly by. I accidentally did that. I totally regret it. And I'm sure this was a pretty penny too, but it's cruelty free, allergy free, and I need setting sprays that are like good for your skin and won't like clog my pores. We talked about the primer situation, still haven't found a good primer. Last thing from Sephora is a big one. I'm going to be at Comic Con, like I said many a times, to do a live makeup my first time. And for that, I need a new training case only because I am running out of room. I have a very small one that's like getting damaged and falling apart and I have a huge one that is just so big it's the size of a small child and I don't know if I should carry all that makeup to Comic Con with that. And yeah, it's it's so big that it's like checking in a person on a flight. It's ridiculous. So I got a new one that's like the perfect size. And I mean, it's got my favorite color, one of my favorite colors, floral on it with some reds, which is another favorite color of mine. And it's just so adorable, honestly. I didn't get it just for the looks, to be honest. I actually really need it. And so that was a treat to myself. To hopefully calm my nerves and I won't like poop my pants of nervousness when I'm about to leave to do makeup for all of y'all to see if you are coming. Speaking of makeup, me and Bunny went on a journey, a journey far away to find this one brand of makeup that I think is a UK brand called Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why we were kept saying it Charlotte Tilbury like that, but that's the brand of makeup and I had to get it. They had this stick of eye makeup. It's like an eyeshadow that's like waterproof and it like looks like this gorgeous rose gold mixed with taupes and purples and I'm like I need this in my life. It's like one of those things that you could just like smudge onto a day makeup to make it look nighttime effective and like not effective but gorgeous for a nighttime look. It's a great transition eyeshadow stick was what I'm saying. This Charlotte Tilbury is also in the color dark pearl if you want to know. Also next to Charlotte Tilbury was a Chanel. I've never bought a Chanel makeup product in my entire life. I was taught by a teacher that only used Chanel makeup, but I saw this there and it's called New Moon. And it's like this loose shadow that's almost like creamy in this pot of like delicious color. It's like this beautiful bronze rose gold with hints of like burgundy and peaches. I can't explain it. It is like some sort of fairy goddess created this and probably her skin looks like this. So it's just gorgeous. Next place that I went to in Texas to buy things. I'll talk about more things throughout the mall and then we'll end with the thrifting, which is so good. Throughout the mall, I went to Victoria's Secret and I got these two sprays. This is the pink brand. I don't know why I don't like their packaging because it's very like plasticky and very bright. It reminds me of a teenager, which isn't terrible, but this purple iris and amber. Oh my goodness. It smells like a nighttime gypsy den. I know that sounds weird, but trust, it smells delicious like that. And this is the peony and black currant. This smells like blackberries or some sort of juice you actually want to drink. And I went to Bath and Body Works. They have these new wine themed candles and scented everythings. 
and I got the wine cellar candle because it smells like my favorite bath bomb which is the coffin one from Witch Baby Soap and the color I mean oof, it's gorgeous I love the blood red colors you know that and Bath and Body Works was having a sale on their new hand sanitizers I say new because they repackaged them I got the Napa Valley Sunset I mean the wine themed stuff I liked all of them I really like this black cherry Merlot I don't drink wine but I like the smell of these for some reason so I got two of those I got another Napa Valley Sunset I must really like the wine smells and I got Jossum because it looks like a shark but it smells like a man I like anything that smells like food and men I want everything to smell like Ron Swanson's just like cooking me up some s'mores and hand feeding it to me sounds like the great life to me I don't know about you oh we're halfway there I'll stop singing in videos I promise I went to this place in Austin Texas which is magical it's called parts and labor where all the stuff that are sold there is made from local artists so I always support local artists I always support you guys who draw me things and any artist I'm like you made this from your hand it feels like a special gift I need to get it so I got to this one soy candle soy candle why did I say like that it's magic carpet ride it's the last one there and it smells so great. It smells like oranges and spices. It smells like if your grandma's making you homemade some sort of like fruit apple or some sort of cider in like a log cabin in the forest. That's what this smells like. It smells nothing like Arabian Nights, what I would imagine with Aladdin at all. But it does smell good. And when I was in Austin, there was a store down the way next to feathers but it wasn't feathers it was a store that had like vintage -y dresses and I needed something to wear that day I didn't need it but I really want to change out of my clothes I know it sounds weird but it was really hot and my shorts were too big for me and like it was sliding with the humidity and the sweat and it was just not a happy situation so I wanted to get something that I could just like throw on and wear and luckily enough bunny saw this dress and it's very hippie and tie-dye and didn't fit her but it fit me and she's one of those great friends we're like this to each other if it doesn't fit me I hope it fits her and she's the same way because we're like we need to have this in our lives it needs to be in someone's life so I got it it was just so comfortable it's semi moo moo ish with like tie-dyes it's a very comfy dress but it's really cute because it flares out and I can't show you on right now but Trust me, it's great stuff. Speaking of Austin, I went to one of me and Bunny's favorite antique stores in Austin called Uncommon Objects. Now, this place is so great. We could spend, me and Bunny, like the whole day in there, a good four to six hours, I kid you not. Just like looking and touching all the antiques is so great. Sadly enough, one of them broke because I had it shipped here. Bunny was nice enough to ship it here and I was so sad, this is my favorite thing. It was this amazing mirror that stood up like this and it had like golden tassels. It looked like very like Roman-esque, like I was a queen about to do my makeup, but unfortunately it broke. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed, figure that out. I'm just glad the glass didn't break because one of my top five fears is broken glass. So that's fine, I'm sure I could get it fixed, but I'll show you the other things that I got there. I have like this idea of make your own necklaces and uncommon objects. They have antique chains and then they have antique pendants and I put them together to make my own necklace. So I got this chain with this necklace and yes, there's an eyeball in there, but it's a like old pocket watch with no parts in it, just the casing and you can open it and put anything in there and I bought this there as well and this is a fake eyeball. Like people old time really had the suction in their eye socket when their eye was gone. I know that sounds disgusting and gross. I know this is really creepy but it's one of my favorite things. I might do it for a makeup or something. This is the one that I could find closest to my natural eye color. It's a little more lighter green than my eyes and uh, it's just great. I would buy all of them if I could have there was many of them I want all the fake eyes now I just think it looks so cute in the necklace I'll put other things in there have it hanging from my neck I don't care how creepy that is I love eyeballs I love drawing eyes it's one of my favorites and I got for fan mail is a letter opener this is a little troll guy on a mushroom and he's like in a little forest and it's like even this is shaped like a piece of a plant or something. He's just so adorable. I can't wait to open fan mail with him. I thought that would be a great idea. 
Another antique thing I got, whenever I see something and sometimes it makes no sense why to buy it and it just gets stuck in my head, it's like this little heart box and it looks like it's made of ivory. It's not made of ivory, it's just plastic to look like ivory. I would never buy ivory because I know how terrible with the t elephant tusks and stuff, but it does look like it and there's like these floral designs. You know me and floral designs, we go together like peanut butter and jelly. And it has this little satin inside, it's the shape of a heart. I just thought that was so cool. I have this like little antique bear I got from there a long time ago and I'm gonna have it like cradling this and maybe put something in there. I don't know once I see something and I like get attached to it like I need it in life and I got this gin bottle antique like little gin label which is for like alcohol they put it on alcohols but I'm gonna put this on the back of a boot. Bunny gave me that idea and I always like the designs of these but I don't know what to do with it and she gave me that idea to put it on the back of one of my western boots. I just think it's gonna look so magical. I can't wait. And last but not least, at the antique place, I found me a man. No, not an actual man. He is a tin man, though. This is a little tin print who is just with this mustache, and he has, like, sleepy eyes. And I just think he's, like, so handsome and so, like, proper and such a gentleman. He looks like he smokes cigars and that he smells of, like, bourbon and cigars. I just love pictures of, like, random men, like, old pictures. I don't know why. I have a few of them, and I just think this is a great one and it's made out of tin and very sturdy so it won't be like scratching away or going anywhere anytime soon. Don't leave me Mr. Tin Man. I know I'm weird but I really like stuff like this. Last but not least, it's time to go over my favorite part of this haul. Whenever I go to Texas, I go thrifting. You get great clothes that have been worn before, but they are super cheap. We go to this one place that's $1.50. We went to other places, so I don't remember where all these were from, but I got me some mom pants. I love these mom pants that they make into like shorts. And this is a little snug on me because we can't like go into a fitting room and try everything. You have to put everything over your clothes. I'm like, this looks like it'll fit me. It's a little snug, but we'll get there. This with like a cute tank top in the summertime, yes please. I'm not a crop top person, but with these it might be possible because they go so high up your waist. And I never thought I would wear like high waisted shorts, but it doesn't look too bad. I don't have mom butt in these just yet, I don't think. I'll have to double check. Next I got this tie only because I love the color and the designs. The designs remind me a little bit of, you know, the hotel of Tower Terror or like the Haunted Mansion. I don't know, I just love this design and this color. So I'm gonna turn this into a belt over those shorts or I'm gonna make it into like a cute hair tie. I'm gonna do something with it and I just love the color and the design. Oh, and I just remembered where I got that tie. I got this next item and everything. We got 50% off and I got these shoes. Yes, these are men's golf shoes. I know that sounds really weird for me to buy men's golf shoes to wear on a regular basis, but once I clean these, these are gonna be great. They fit like a glove and they look like those old school poodle skirt shoes. That's why I was drawn towards it. And these are gonna look so good with like, you know the socks that go above the knee and like some of my old like more like romantic, I don't go all the way gothic, but sometimes I go to like dark romantic. I have like skirts that look like chandelier patterns or with like black and white florals and like going to Halloween conventions like I always do with these on. It's gonna be like cute and comfortable comfortable and fun and I just think they're so adorable with like a good daytime dress or like some sort of skirt situation just anything <sighs> with the lace tops and some jean shorts even like that's my style Elvis lace semi western and a ton of floral so I hope you guys liked this haul video. Again, I am not here to brag any of the stuff I got. I'm just here to show you maybe stuff at Sephora you may want to save your money to purchase for Bath and Body Works or even inspire you to go thrifting. Go try on new clothes and go try out different things and hang out with your friends and have fun. You don't need to spend money to hang out with your friends Honestly, like me and Buddy, sometimes we just make weird drinks, uh, snacks, and watch TV shows and Netflix all night, which is just like the best thing for me. It doesn't matter how much money you spend as long as you're spending it with quality people. I didn't know this was going to turn into a life lesson, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and rambling about all the things that I bought in Texas. <sighs> Time to save some money now. I hope you guys have a great day. Leave me a comment down below on what was your favorite makeup item or clothing item in this video that you think is so cool and you would like to like try yourself. I would love to hear it. I hope you guys had a fun summer. I cannot wait for fall to come. I cannot 
Wait, I'm so excited. And I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.